I walked in and one of the boys straight away comes up to me and he looks at me and he's like, you want to be a boxer? There is no way you're going to be a boxer. So after that, I thought, you know what? I'm going to prove you wrong. And I've been living in this gym since. Back in Sweden, I used to be a professional table tennis player. When I was there, I started pretty late and people were saying like, oh, you know, there is no way you're going to make it in sport because you, you're too late. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to prove you wrong. So I did. I trained harder than everyone else in that sport and became one of the best table tennis players for the juniors over there. In table tennis, you know, you train every day, all year around, and I brought that into boxing. Uh, it's just like dedication and the hard work you need to put in, but I love it. It's the best thing in the world. We were in Vietnam and I fought the number three in the world. Uh, and I only had seven fights at the time. Like I'm not afraid for new challenges, so I think that's, I'm gonna take that with me going into this fight as well. Her work ethic is second to none. Um, and a lot of guys in the gym will tell you that, you know, she, she works hard. And we haven't been blessed with the, the history of her training as ever since she was a child. You know, we've had to go a different road where we now get our experience through just training, copious amounts of hours, like just over and over and over, and then going to places like the Philippines on her own and getting the living pan smacked off of her. Um, but, you know, she's gone out there and these guys, they want to kill you. You pay them to hurt you, it's crazy. Um, and we've done that twice, and she's also going to the States. And so our runs are on the board in a different way. Yeah, amazing opportunity. I mean, this is a dream coming true, I guess, for a lot of boxers to be on this card. And yeah, making my debut there is going to be unreal. Great opportunity for Linda to turn professional on a show like that and um, just showcase what, you know, what we're all about. A spanner has been thrown into works with this border closure. Finish off camp over in Brisbane in some couple of gyms there and do some sparring in that and then fly out to Townsville as well. My coach is even sacrificing a lot by going with me for this long amount of time, but yeah, this is what we want and we gotta do it. We sacrifice me being at my gym, my place of business, this is my, this is my business, and are we going to be successful? We're gonna be as damn, as, as good as we possibly can be, 110%, uh, and that's what she'll give, that's what we'll give as a, as a gym. Nothing else can be expected of anybody else, and then, you know, throw the cards out and see how they lay. I want to become a champion. I said that since day one. I mean, I walked when I saw Tony training one of the girls in the gym. She's a three-time world champion, and I saw him doing pads with her, and just the work rate and everything just made me tick. I'm like, wow, that's where I want to be. Yeah.